is going on guys, welcome to Gums Videos, my name is Kyle Garber. Today I'll be talking about some Spider-Man news. So I'm a little late to this party, but I wanted to take some time thinking about it because it's very controversial and a lot of fans are pissed off. So I first received this with a friend of mine, Vanquish X, he's on YouTube so go check him out. But he told me that um, Spider-Man's not going to be in the MCU for much longer. And then he sent me a link because I said this is bullshit, I highly doubt it. But he sent me a link to a comic book cast one. And he told me all the news and stuff like that. And so, we are spoiled as fans because what happened never happened before. Not only is it a crossover from like a different franchise and another franchise and them combining, which is the Avengers, this came from a whole different studio. Now, people are like bitching, saying, Oh, Sony's being scumbags. They don't care about the fucking fans, which really pissed me off. And this is all coming from comic book cast. I don't shit on YouTubers because I hate doing that. I, I'm not the one to start drama. But that was really stupid on his part. Saying that, um, that Sony doesn't care about the fans. Because they care about the fans. Everyone has to care about the fans. Because guess what? If it doesn't show on the script and on screen, they're gonna, fans are going to notice and not pay tickets. So, yes, they made Spider-Man 3. Yes, they made The Amazing Spider-Man 2, but they want to make franchises out of this stuff. Oh, that's such a bad thing. It's called a business. And sure, it can be annoying from time to time, but in the end game, it's a business. So they just want to make money, especially because Spider-Man is their only money maker. So they want this to be good. And another thing I want to touch on is that they never really confirmed that this was a done deal. Like he's not coming back after Spider-Man Homecoming 2, which is what they're referring to the sequel after Spider-Man. So... If they never really said that he's not coming back, why is this dude flipping shit? Uh, why are fans flipping shit? Because the, you read an um, article that might say or might indicate that he might not be in the Marvel Cinematic Universe in three future films, or actually four. You got Spider-Man, you got Avengers Part 1 and 2, and then Spider-Man Homecoming 2? Why are we worried about what's going on down there? I think Marvel Studios want Spider-Man to stay there because it's making the fans happy because they, they already they don't have any money issues they're sitting on billions of dollars so i don't think that's an issue with them but sony it is an issue so they what marvel wants to do is just make the fans happy guardians of the galaxy made fans happy avengers made fans happy avengers 2 not so much but they they got some fans happy sony sony should be really happy right now because spider-man fans have never really been this happy since the after after spider-man 2 because ever since then fans have really never been the same for spider-man when it comes to the movies so i think if they were smart they would keep him in the mcu but if he's not in the mcu much more why is it such a big fucking deal because this never happened before two studios collaborating on one movie and getting along not going at each other's throats all the time that's never happened before now that since that happened once Everything's got to be like that. Like, oh, Spider-Man should stay with Marvel. It's not Marvel's property still. It's still Sony's. Because Sony won't give it up. You know why? Because that's the only way they're making their money. Because their computers aren't doing as well as they used to. So their technical side isn't doing as well. Except for the PS4s. And that's it. So Spider-Man's the only thing that's really given in the big bucks. So they really want to keep it close to their hearts. And saying that they don't want to please the fans, like I said earlier, that's stupid. That's ridiculous. Because that's who's coming to see their movies, is the fans. So, before this even started, for Sony to even come to Marvel Studios saying we need help, that shows that they want to make a good Spider-Man movie. They don't purposely make Amazing Spider-Man 2s and the uh, Spider-Man 3 movie. They don't purposely make those. Sure, they, they have dumb decisions, but that's why they went to Marvel Studios. So they're like, yo, we need help because we can't really get a hold on this franchise just right. So. For, by report saying that they worked together really well on um, Spider-Man Homecoming and it was an actual legit collaboration with Sony and Marvel Studios they came to an agreement so just because this happened once doesn't mean it has to happen to everything like now X-Men needs to come into that. that's a whole different subject but this happened once and it's going to happen for four movies don't know why it's a big deal that what might happen four films in the future which is going to be like who knows maybe five maybe ten years down the line Let's wait until Avengers Infinity War Part 1 and 2 is finished, and then we'll start, you know, getting a vibe what's going on. Then after Spider-Man Homecoming 2, then they'll have a verdict like, hey, we want him to stay in Marvel Cinematic Universe, or hey, 
I think we're good now. I think we'll take um, Tom Holland and we'll put him in our own movies. If he's not in the MCU anymore, so what? I think Sony is using Marvel Studios as a teaching, like a teaching moment. Like, okay, I see what they did there. I see what they were thinking. It's more of a teaching moment. Just because they worked well for a couple years doesn't mean it's going to happen forever. So fans need to stop being so picky, so, you know, clingy, so like, that just, like, you can't get everything you want. X-Men is not crossing over with Avengers. You know why? Because fans would be pissed no matter what. Because, oh, why is Wolverine not in there? Oh, why is this not that? Why is this not that? Fans need to, like, relax and just be happy we're getting the movies we're getting. Sure, we can be hyped about movies coming in the future, or we can ask for certain things, but just because you can hate on a movie if all you want. I don't care. You can hate a movie all you want, but hating the studio for wanting to make money is stupid because that's the only reason why we're getting these movies, because they're making money. So if Spider-Man Homecoming didn't make any money, I don't think they would be making any more Spider-Man movies. So my point being, Sony needs to make needs to treat this like a business. Every other studio treats this like a business. Marvel Studios treats the business like a business, not just for the fans. Because if it was just for the fans, we would be getting direct comic book to screen adaptation. Because not nothing is direct comic book to screen adaptation. Like not a hundred percent. Nothing is like that. Marvel has a a formula. That's the business side of it. It's because. It works, and they kept on using it over and over and over again. They don't focus on the villains, but guess what? It works. Let's worry about this 10 years down the line when it's an actual threat if Spider-Man's not in the MCU. And if he's not in the MCU, guess what? We're not going to be waiting for Spider-Man movies once every freaking four or five years. We get to have a Spider-Man movie every two years. So stop looking at the negatives and start looking at the positives because there's a lot more positives than negatives. We're going to get a lot more Spider-Man movies if he comes to Sony. But if he does stay with the MCU, he's going to be in a lot of Avengers movies. So, either way, we're going to win. I don't know why everyone's shitting like, on Sony. I don't know why everyone's bitching, complaining. Just take a deep breath. It's a movie. It's a movie. It's a comic book movie. Relax. You're not going to lose sleep over this. If you are, then you really need to rethink your life. I want to hear your thoughts down below, guys. What do you think about Sony leaving the MCU? Comment down below. I would like to hear your thoughts, guys. I have a Twitter, Instagram, come some score videos. Go follow me there for the latest news and updates on my channel. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and all that crap. Later, and goodbye.